Hi everybody, this is a uh, very quick off-the-cuff call to arms on behalf of Gordon Smith, uh, someone that I met at the False Allegations Summit in Washington, D.C. Uh, at the start of last month. Um, to let everybody know, he's just uh, he's just put out a press release uh, saying that he's been arrested yet again on a false accusation by his ex-wife. Um, he has filed a lawsuit against Delaware State Police and several other Delaware agencies uh, for individual officers included for failing to arrest his ex-wife and other individuals who have made proven false police reports uh, and for failure to conduct investigations prior to making arrest, falsely entering him into DLJIS resulting in his false arrest and incarceration in a Delaware State Prison the day after he conducted a demonstration outside Kent County Family Court. Now, Gordon uh, is co-founder and executive director of a family law reform and advocacy organization. Uh, he's spoken at several summits on false allegations and uh, has had his uh, writing printed in several mainstream outlets. Uh, he is actually putting out a call to any men in Delaware, because uh, apparently Delaware is really, really bad for this, uh, any men in Delaware who have been the victim of proven false police reports of domestic violence or violations of restraining orders and things like that, and uh, wanting to know if they would consider being part of a class action lawsuit. Um, more importantly, I think now, uh, since he's been arrested uh, for the ninth time on a false allegation made by his ex-wife, um, this one for uh, uttering uh, terroristic threats, uh, he's what I'm asking is for anybody in Delaware uh, to kindly, if you have the time, if you have a moment, five minutes, uh, to call Delaware State Police and demand that this woman be charged. She has made now, at this point, nine false accusations filed, nine false police reports against him. Um, the two times that police investigated before arresting, there was no arrest. and. All of the other times he had evidence to prove his innocence, including uh, video evidence. Uh, so this is this is really this is a campaign on the part of his ex-wife to manipulate the system to continue to have him arrested and arrested and arrested and arrested. Uh, she uh, one of her accusations was that he had made a phone call in violation of a court order uh, to her, and uh, he was arrested uh, by police despite the fact that the police officer knew he was in the courthouse at the time that he was supposedly making this phone call and that there was video surveillance evidence available and he insisted on arresting this man before reviewing the video evidence. This is this is just insane. It is insane. And I, I find it just the, the most insane, egregious thing that somebody who has filed eight Eight proven false police reports against one specific individual, abusing due process, abusing the law, right? Abuse of process to harass this man, who is just like the nicest guy ever. Um, that that she faces no consequences. She has not yet been charged for any of this. And even worse, uh, apparently there is a one-week limitation on a uh, time limit on the police as far as pressing charges against her. So if they don't press charges against her within a week, those charges are not going to get filed. So anyone who's in Delaware who can pick up the phone and call state police, call your representative, call anybody and try and get this woman charged. Make them know that this is unacceptable. And uh, I guess anyone else uh, from other states, if, if you care to join in, bombard the place with phone calls. Bombard the place with emails. Um, this man, he, he does not deserve this bullshit. And, uh, and that's about all I can say about that. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, leave either uh, the full text of the two press releases that I received from Angel Clark, uh, who does a libertarian radio show in Delaware, um, or links to them 
in the low bar, as well as uh, Gordon Smith's email address for any men interested in joining him in his lawsuit. And uh, and I, I'm going to uh, try and spread the word as much as possible uh, so that we can help this guy out and get this woman uh, to, be fa to, to face some freaking consequences for her behavior because it's just egregious. It's, it's ridiculous. So anyhow, um, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that and, and have at her. <laughs>